Man, I bring you cartoons on Saturday morning on American Hearts Radio Network, right here where you're watching us at, at this very present time. Saturday mornings are made for cartoons, and I bring you vintage cartoons. That's the good stuff. Do you stuff. have any uh, cartoons of the possum? Well, uh, let me think now. Uh, I do have Raccoon, uh -huh. Uh -huh. and I do have Squirrel. Right? Okay. Yeah. Right? Plus, I have yeah. others, right? I don't have any possums. Well, we'll have to dig. We'll have to dig, right? All right? And this show here, brought to you by American Hearts Radio, where hearts come together. Is that right? Uh, that's correct, sir. Uh, Mr. Batman? Yes. <laughs> this guy, is in his time, had been hilarious, right? But now this is serious stuff, right? These politics that we're running now, tell them we've got problems, don't we? Oh, we do. Uh, uh, we got all kind of problems. Uh, you were telling me about uh, he lost your job. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. The Batman is unemployed, right? And you know, the Batmobile got a little damaged up doing some crime fighting and whatnot, right? Don't want to go into it too hard, but it crippled the Batman, right? And it, it was hard for me to find jobs. And you know why that is, right? Do you? And I'll tell you. Okay. Because a lot of us, our people, right, are depending on the government, right, to help them out. We call that welfare? Socialism. Hello, right? And why? It's the easy way up. It's the grass that's greener on the other side. Is that true? Well, for some people it is. Are they handing us a load? Are they sugarcoating it? I think so. You think so? We'll find out during election time, won't we? Well, election time? Don't even let me get there, right? I mean, does your vote count? Are your numbers lined up? Are you categorized? Is that the way it's going? I think that it's uh, a lot of the stuff that, like we're doing here. The for Mr. Batman, it happens every day on a lot of different networks and kind of sugarcoats a lot of things to make them seem that they're hip or cool or, you know, um, perhaps this is what's in. So, you know, and being a Republican, well, definitely better not be a Republican because you're going to take all my money and take away my benefits and my food stamps and everything and they're such bad people they're so rich republicans um democrats you know there's other parties out there too is there the tea and liberation they're they're out there right they're all preaching something aren't they well they're not the ones that count any votes they're not the ones that they're running their their politician to run in an election uh, the main ones are your Democrats or Republicans. And when it comes down to it, you have A or B. And it's time for the folks to make a decision at that point. But it seems the Democrats have spent a lot of tax money with a lot of different special interest groups and have a lot of power. 
Mr. Batman. Mr. Possum, who are we to believe? Where are we to turn? How do well, we make a decision? Well, how do we make a decision? Well, you got to use that little brain up there and think. And you got to think for yourself and not let the government with their, with their, should I say, social media, um, make that decision for you because they make things look too hip or cool or spin it one way that if you're a Republican you must be rich and and you hide all your money under your mattress and you don't you can't stand poor people and you just you just want to take everything for yourself and you can't, you hate the poor. You hate right? the poor. Huh? Yeah, I yeah. really hate the poor. I'll tell you. Well, Mr. Possum, <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you what, right? Some of us poor people are out there working hard, right, trying to find jobs, trying to get along, right? Try, the people are trying to get together. Do you see this, right? Are we supporting them? Do, do we worry about things like our military? Do they have enough to protect our shores? Do we have enough to deter away terrorism, right? Do they have the equipment? Do they have, have it? Or are we just squandering our taxes money? Is that is is that something I can say? Squander our tax money? No, we we the tax people can't squander if they don't have, right? Well, we've got a big problem here with our government, with uh, the IRS, and uh, what they uh, they judge on uh, taxes on on so hard working people like. Uh, your, my dad's like 75 years old. He has to go out and work another job so he can pay his rent. But yet he had to pay tax money back to the IRS. And it uh, doesn't make any sense um, that you know, 65, 70-year-old guys got to work and pay back tax dollars. They can't make a living. I, what, yeah. what kind of retirement is that? I know. I know, Possum Man. And then they tell us, well, you know, the cost of living has gone up, right? This and this has, uh, you know, has occurred, right? And we need more money to help help our people, right? Well, to what about the other people that are coming into the country without any documentation, Batman? What about those people? Well, where do, do we got to pay for them? And Who does pay for them? The taxpayer's going to pay for everyone that's coming in. That the people the people that elect them are going to the polls to elect these officials to let all the illegal immigrants into the country to have their business being here and they are illegal because they're not legal they don't have papers they don't belong here they weren't born here and yet we're paying their freight and to put the icing on the cake mr president obama has given them your tax money and a check from the irs i heard isn't that amazing Boy, it does sound good to immigrate to this country from countries that have treated their people badly, right? Well, you know, our veterans who are out there not getting a square deal, right? And our people who are in the military, right, who are not getting paid well as they should, uh, these are the people that made it possible for these immigrants to come in and receive these gifts? <laughs> Is that the best way you could put it? Because obviously they didn't earn it. Nope, they are receiving these gifts and we're supposed to feel sorry for them because they came from another country that was, well, not as good as we have it. So we're supposed to feel as if we're doing good to stop what we're doing and feel sorry for the poor country, which they can adopt to the American system. Why can't they fix their own country? Why can't they become Americanized as we are and fix their problem? Why should we feel bad for them? Why, why is it our problem to feel bad for them? You know, Apostle Dan, I often thought to myself, right, back in the time, right, and it hadn't been too long ago, and it hadn't been too long ago that the Batman remembers, right, that a lot of our industries went to foreign lands and that because people there and their labor was cheap, uh, they assembled our products and sent it back to it and sold it to us, right? And that's why it gave me a great heart 
that when I buy something that says that it's made in the United States, my, a tear comes to my eye because I know Americans out there are working hard to keep their dollars in their pockets here on our land. Do you agree? Well, that's true. And the other part of it is we could have a lot more of that if people would just get a little bit smarter when it comes to voting. That's true. You know, possibly, man, you know, people should really look at their politics heavily. All right? It is us out there, right, the American people who put these people in charge of us. And that is what it's coming down to. You know, Mr. Batman, you see my shirt? This was a good man. We gave him a good choice. Nah, was it my choice at first? Nah, I had another politician in mind, but that's beside the point. When it came down to it, it was like a game of cards, you know? You're in, you're in. Yes, I'm in. My cards are folded, I'm busted. I'm in. Okay. You know what? I jumped on board. I got to meet Mr. Mitt Romney. We gave America a good choice. Now, Mr. Batman, it's been eight years, almost, oh, seven years? Where are we? Seven years into his, Mr. Obama's term now? Oh, Mr. Obama, what? What are we into, his seven years now? Has, has, has uh, in his second term, what has he accomplished that was so much better now into the second term? You know, as I look at it, right, the president of this country has been pulled by so many strings, right, he is just a puppet. He is just a puppet. I don't know much about being a puppet, but all the stuff that he says that he could do and fix the economy was going to get better. Now they're making reports that they're saying that the economy is adjusting and it's getting better, but I don't see it. You're ever out of work? Huh. I don't, I I have don't been see. Out of what work. are we making in America, our own products? What, what's, what, what are we making that's American-made? Do you see anything? You know, that's where uh, our people out there... Bring back the labor force. Right? Bring back our people. Put the spirit of work back into our American people. Right? We're Americans. We're from the United States. All right? And we will be selling to your country our products. Okay? Not us buying your stuff. Right? We don't need another BMW. Right? We don't need China from China. Okay? How about our safety, Mr. Batman? And how can I tell you any more about that, right? Right? All these years we have come to hold our freedom dear. Well, with that, with that said, we're going to have to go to a commercial break right now, but we will finish this up after our commercial break. We'll be right back, folks. Stay, Stay right with there. us. Oh, oh, this is so much fun out here at the soggy bottom mud park, Mr. Guy. Oh, oh, yes. Oh, I, I used to go four-wheeling in, in Afghanistan with, with my camel, Irma. Oh, oh, it was so much fun. It, it, this is a lot of family fun out here. We have big concerts and events and comedy and stuff for the whole family to do. Whoa, look out. Oh, Tell everybody what type of great things you can do at the mud pit. Oh, we have all types of things. Uh, we have oh. a, a jeep rock course. Oh. We have a bounty hole. A bounty hole? We have a hill in a hole. Oh, hill. Oh, there comes a hill. Oh, there's a hill. Oh, yes. Hill. Oh, we have a two-lane drag strip. Two lanes. We have uh, separate ATV pits. Wow, oh, those are fun. We've got DOT pits, oh. street legal trucks. Oh, street legal. I love going in the four-wheel drive trucks. This is so much fun at the soggy bottom mud park. Watch out. Whoa. We, have a, we have a big truck pit just for the monster trucks. Oh, really? Not to mention we've got 60 acres of sand off hill roads to ride back to the St. Mary's River. Whoa, if you're so... all four-wheelers and you want to get away from everybody and you want to just ride your four-wheelers, oh, big trucks aren't allowed to go. 
Oh, you're a reckless driver. I'm sorry. I just got my driver's license. Oh, I think we're smoking under the hood. Is that what that is? Yes. Oh, oh it reminds me of my homeland. Oh, anyway. Oh, it is. Anyway, also, tell them how to get out here to the park. Oh, yeah, sure. You take uh, I-10 to 121 in McClenny. You take 121 north to the Florida-Georgia line. And right on the Florida-Georgia line, just past 185, it's the first property, first road on your right. On the right? On your okay, right. Okay, here we go, all right. Okay. To the right? Yes. I see a deer over there. Nice. Oh, yes. And, Don't and hit them. How can, they, how can they get a hold of you? Give them the phone number so they can buy tickets to these great events. Yes, you can buy tickets in advance. Only ten dollars. They're fifteen dollars at the gate, Whoa. but you can get tickets for ten dollars in advance. Uh, call us at the office at 904-786-5503. We're inviting you to yes. Sunday Bottom Mud Pit. Come out to the mud pit. That's Whoa. 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 Yeah. This is so. I think they're starting to get flames under the hood. You're got me. I think we're going to blow up. We must it's on fire. We must sing a song. Before we blow up, okay. you ready? This is a lullaby. Let's sing together. Please, please, please don't sing. Okay. Okay. Keep riding. You just drive. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Johnny Van Zandt from Leonard Skinner and you're watching Awesome Politics with Ed Caramel on American Hearts Radio, Web TV. I'll keep my freedom, I'll keep my guns, try to keep my money and my religion too. And we're back everybody. And welcome back. And we were talking about the crime and America, right? Is that what we're talking about? That's true. I guess you could sum it up as that, right? That's the American people have been criminalized, all right? All right. All right. We, we, got a, we got a very bad terrorist group there, Mr. Batman, and they were, uh, as far as I heard on the news lately, they were uh, in Texas making threats that they're going to uh, um, take care of business here in the United States. They were making demands. This ISIS group, what do you think about that? You know, I don't think very highly of them. Right? And they are you know, the lowest form of, of people that they are, right? They're using the uh, ungodly tactics, right, to break the American spirit. And that's what we're all about, right? We're all about the American spirit and the hearts that we bring together here on American Hearts Radio. But we want to keep them together. Uh, we want to safeguard ourselves from these but these groups that are tr are attacking us from every angle that is as feasibly possible. Well, we, well, with our safety or is at risk, our border patrol has been cut back now. Um, so how are our border patrol supposed to keep us safe? If we cut back on border patrol and and we don't we can't keep our borders safe from letting all these terrorists come into the country, what do we do, Mr. Batman? What do we do? What do we do? What should we do? I'll tell you what we do, right? We let ourselves be known, okay? Send a message through us, right? We'd love to hear from you. What do you say? Okay, send a message to your congressman, send a message to, the to your representatives, right? The lowest form of government is always a part of the government. They made you numbers, use them numbers for yourself. Oh, well, okay? isn't there something that they can do in the next election? Next election. Oh, Mr. Fawcett, man. You know, politics haven't really been a real good thing with the Batman. You know, because people who are in political power don't want to give that up and they'll do anything and everything right to hold that right well they can and those who who manipulate the media will feed you the things they want you to hear and you will believe but but they had a choice to make the last time and don't you think that by now 
Mr. Mitt Romney would have handled things differently than Mr. Obama did, as in beefing up our border patrol, beefing up our military, um, keeping us safe, lowering your taxes, not making it harder for you? I know. How many promises did Obama make? What did he say? He says now, he, he says said? that it's, it's Fox. Fox News is the only broadcasting system in the, Rep in the Republicans that we have in the Republic here to broadcast to you what is happening in our terms, to let you see it in ABC, NBC, M MSNBC, CBS, all those affiliates are all left-wing affiliates. They will produce the news the way that they want you to see the news. Fox is the only one that gives you a different perspective, point of view, and viewing the news the way that it really is intended. Now, you can think that I'm crazy, but do it. And don't think that, oh, that Fox affiliate station is so, oh, well, they're so bad. Watch the other stuff for a while, and then watch Fox, and you decide for yourself. Oh, Mr. Obama is now blaming Fox for all of his problems now that are not working. He says that it's Fox's fault now because everything that he did is not working. Hmm. Well, Mr. Possum Man, when his campaign came along, right, he promised a change. Boy, did he deliver. <laughs> you know, some of the old-fashioned ways that we used to cling to and things of that sort seem to have worked. All right. Is change a real good thing? Is change something that that we all embrace? Is it? Not all the time. Some things I'm with you, but most of the time, I think if it isn't broken, why are you fixing it? Hello, right? Hello, right? I'm telling you, folks, right? There's a lot of things that happen here. Uh, you know, uh, that, 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 that you just got away with, all right? Things have just gotten away, okay? Insurance companies, okay, have taken, I don't know, it seems to me that they're just taking good money and what? Betting it against you? <laughs> you need that? Um, really, all right, all right, all right, all right. And then other things, right? The government, uh, they slow up progress so much with paperwork and stuff. Well, isn't right? it like the IRS is in charge of health care now? So now when you go to pay your taxes, if you don't pay on your health care, on your Obamacare, you're going to get a fine from the government for not carrying health care. Since when is that an American thing to do? Yes, this health care. What a thorn in my side, all right? And if I had to get attended to, I guess I'd have to go copay, wouldn't I? <laughs> well, yeah. If you want the right treatments in the hospital, see, most people, they don't. We don't normally go to hospitals until we get older and we get sick, and then we'll count your blessings. We hope we don't have to go to the hospital. But when you do, I'm sure that every one of us want the best care. We want to make sure we got the best doctor, the best care in that hospital. That's what I would like, right? I mean, if it came to surgery and they were going to open me up, right? I want to be somebody that knows what they're doing. All right. Well. It sounds nappy, said, right? Okay. I'll... You, you know, it is an expensive thing to go to the hospital. And insurance companies, they like they say they take the blunt on it. But I am not so sure that's well, the way this it works. Cheap, this cheap insurance is Obamacare. Uh, it kind of worries me. I'm a little bit scared to get sick. Well, you know, health care, it was the best in the world. But who knows where it's going to go from here, huh? I don't think we had a problem with health care before because you can get it if you got a good job that carried health care. They take it out of your paycheck 50-50. And they said the costs were going up, but my costs went up. And it wasn't nearly as much now. You gotta look at this. You may think that you're saving money right now because your health care seems to be a sweet deal. But when you get sick, what was under your old insurance that you had that was privatized, 
you probably had most likely 80% of your stuff that you had with good doctors, um, all your machines, your x-rays, every, all everything in there, okay? All taken care of in the hospital. Now you're not paying that much, do you really think you're going to get the same golden plan that you had under your privatized insurance under Obamacare? I seriously doubt it. Ooh, man. You know, that could come up to be a problem, man. Yeah. And I noticed that this Mrs. Administration now is putting a lot of emphasis in our education and our teachers and things of that sort, right? And I'm all good with that, right? I'm all good with education. I'm all good with helping our, our people advance and being the smartest in the world, okay? But there's something very mysterious about this, right? It's like they're dealing with the youth of America something not right. Well, what about special interest groups? There special interest groups, like the teachers' unions, who do they give their money to? Yes. They give their money to the Democrats, and in return, your kids are getting taught liberal agenda. So, they're going to come out of school, and they're going to go to college and get taught some more liberal agenda. So when they go to those voting polls at 18 years old, most likely that vote goes in their pocket. All that for that little bit of work. But it's funny how Fox, little Fox, messed him all up. How did we do that? One channel, one little channel, and we, Fox, Fox is not, we don't have all that network like the left has all that network. You know, there is a lot to be said about the freedoms that we do have, right, and how they're trying to take them away from us, right? I mean, the, I know I'm a number somewhere up there in the United States government. They've got mine, okay? They've got yours. Don't they, possibly? Awesome, they got everybody's number. That's true. That's true. And... You know, with the last few minutes of our program here, right, I want to send out a big shout-out to all our veterans out there, right, and to all the people that are in the service right now, our first responders, right, I can't thank you guys enough, okay? Amen. Uh, you know, God you're, bless you're, all. you're doing a job that's hard out there. I know you're losing a lot of respect, right, but don't be discouraged, right? There's a lot of people in the United States, a lot of people, right, that have love and respect for all of you. We're not all like they're going to be, all uh, right? You know, there are people out there that work for a living, just like you. That's yeah. right, that's right. And uh, one thing I want to say to everybody before I end my show tonight is uh, say your prayers and keep up the trust in God. Um, God uh, may bless our country and keep it one nation under God because it's individual with liberty and justice for all and to the republic for what it stands for. God bless America, folks. God bless you, your family, and we will see you again. And stay tuned to another episode of Possum Politics. That's true. And, and the man, Batman endorses that because these are words that we didn't make up. These are words that you know. American Hearts Radio, bringing hearts together. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and please, please, right, let us know how you feel. We're here for you. Is that right, Pastor Man? Yeah, and uh, by the way, you can uh, you can reach me at um, AOL at edthepossumanaol.com to leave me some comments, too, if uh, you like the show or you know, I'd like to know, too. God bless. Thank Good you. Night, folks. Good night. I'll keep my freedom. I'll keep my guns, try to keep my money and my religion too. Try to keep on working, try to keep on smiling. I will keep my Christian name and y'all can keep the change.